on the 20th and 21st of July 2024. It is time to dance again as we welcome the return of one of the highlights of the weight class calendar last year, the Chaos Classic, and we're gonna be previewing it in this very video. Hey, how's it going? This is Danny from Made of Metal, AKA Britain's Strongest Drummer, and I'm back. I'm back after like three months. What happened? Well, me and a couple of friends, Andrew Keys and Ash Lappage, we have started a podcast. It is called the KLC Strongcast. You can find it on Spotify, but I didn't realize quite how much work that would take. I'm doing all the production, the editing and things like that. Uh, I just haven't had time to make any videos, but it would feel remiss of me to not make some kind of preview hyping up the upcoming Chaos Classic this year, coming from the home of weight class strongman and strongwoman, Chaos Strength Gym in Preston. And this year it is being streamed live via Chaos Live. You can purchase the live stream right now. It's 15 pounds for both shows at Chaos dot live live streams will start on the 20th and 21st of july at 9 45 a.m that's gmt so after an amazing competition last year chaos have returned with another outrageous lineup of under 90 kilogram strong men competing to become chaos classic champion 2024 and win a share of a prize pot worth over ten thousand pounds but that's not all added to the weekend's festivities this year, we have the addition of the under 64 kilogram ladies who are gonna be competing in what is being touted as one of the heaviest under 64 kilogram women's shows there has ever been. And you know, particularly for the under 64 kilogram ladies, that is not a claim that is gonna be made lightly, excuse the pun, because one of the masterminds behind this competition is the under 64 kilogram goat, Rhiannon Lovelace, and if anyone knows what makes a heavy competition it is going to be Rihanna Lovelace with all that competitive experience under her belt. So these ladies are not going to be in for an easy time, neither will the under 90 kilogram men. So let's take a look at the events that are going to be facing these two epic lineups of athletes. So the first event at last year's Chaos Classic was a Max Log Press. This year it is the turn of the Max Axle press for the under 64 ladies, their bar is going to start at 73.5 kilograms for the men. A fairly easy sounding 131 kilograms. Is anyone going to hit a world record? I'm sure there will be one or two in each of the lineups that are going to be hoping to really make a statement right out of the gates on this event. Event number two for the athletes will be the deadlift four reps. There will be a choice of two bars a lighter bar and a heavier bar. Any number of reps done on the heavier bar will trump any number of reps done on the lighter bar. The caliber of this lineup though, I'm not sure too many athletes are gonna be opting for that lighter bar, but these are not light weights. The under 64 ladies will have a choice between 180 kilograms or 210, and the men will have a choice of 290 kilograms or 340. Both bars are gonna be set one in front of the other, and I believe both athletes are gonna start behind both bars. So there could be an element of uh, chicken. We saw a similar thing at the UK and S, UK and Ireland Championships earlier in the year. And I really liked that particular setup. And in terms of reps, we know certainly among the men, there are some epic deadlifters. Ben Donan is gonna be part of the lineup this year. How many reps are we gonna see on that 340 kilogram bar? Likewise, the under 64 ladies, Alessandra Menaglio, for example, she's an outrageous deadlifter. How many reps are people gonna get on that 210 kilogram bar? We'll have to wait and see. Event number three is the yoke carry-in. If you needed an indication as to how heavy this yoke is, the athletes only, and I say only, have to carry the yoke 10 meters. The under 64 kilogram ladies, they're gonna be having 280 kilograms on their backs and the men, are going to be carrying 410 kilograms. This is going to be absolutely brutal, especially after that deadlift. And as if that wasn't taxing enough, event four is a sandbag carry, load into a sled and drag that sled back 10 meters. So it's a 10 meter sandbag carry, dragging the sled 10 meters. Two sandbags for each of the classes. For the women, it's 80 kilograms and 100 kilograms. 
And for the men, it's 120 kilograms and 140 kilograms. Those are going to be some heavy sleds. This kind of sounds reminiscent to the Go Ruck Survival Challenge from OSG World Championships last year. So I'm sure those athletes that were there will be prepared for this one. Event number five is a farmer's walk. It's 20 meters, 10 meters drop turn and come back. For the under 64 kilogram ladies, it's 105 kilograms per hand, almost double body weight. And for the men, it is 150 kilograms per hand. This is gonna be absolutely brutal. And I know historically, grip has been a, a weak point for some of the athletes that are gonna be competing today, but I'm sure they will turn up ready to go. And the final event of the Chaos Classic 2024 is gonna be a sandbag loading run. The under 64s are gonna be tackling a 60 kilogram bag, 80 kilograms, 100 kilograms, and 120 kilograms. The first two bags are gonna be loaded to about 48 inches, while the heavier bags, the 100 and 120, are gonna be loaded to around about 44 inches. And the under 90 kilogram class will be tackling a 100 kilogram bag, 120, 140, and 160 kilograms, all loaded to about 48 inches. So whoever is standing atop the podium after these six events are done and dusted will truly have earned the title of Chaos Classic Champion 2024. So let's take a look at some of the ladies that are going to be competing in the under 64 kilogram class on the 20th of July. Among them, we have seven of the top 10 from OSG Worlds last year. We have Kate Connolly, we have Taylor Woods, Tony Varecchia, Camilla Fogagnolo, Alessandra Minaglio, Rai Vogler, and Meg Latter. Please notice that I didn't look at my notes during that. I memorized all seven names. Go me. So we've already touched upon Alessandra Minaglio. She had a tremendous performance at OSG Europe's last year. She was suffering with a tricep injury, I believe it was, around that time. Hopefully she's healed. She's coming in healthy, ready. Uh, the deadlift ladder last year at OSG Europe's, she was one of the few athletes that nearly gave Rhiannon a little bit of trouble. She absolutely flew through that medley. So I'm looking forward to seeing how many reps she is able to get on that 210 kilogram bar at the Chaos Classic. Kate Connolly is a master overhead, so you have to pip her as one of the favorites to set a new Axel Press world record. She's also a phenomenal all-round athlete, and you have to fancy her chances, being as the Chaos Classic is taking place on home turf. Looking at that sandbag carry and sled drag, we have the second and third placed athletes from the Go Ruck Survival Challenge from OSG Worlds last year, similar sort of event in Ray Vogler, I hope I'm saying your name correctly, and Meg Latter. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what sort of times these two athletes are gonna lay down on this event in particular. Let's not forget we have Shannon Smith, former world's strongest woman in this lineup, not one to be overlooked. She took a bit of a break from competition, but is back and is looking in fine form. Also not one to be overlooked is Camilla Fogagnolo. She had a tremendous result at the OSG World Championships last year, but is no stranger to competing on the British Isles. She competed at the Europe Pro Strongman Show earlier this year, winning the under 64 kilogram class and placing on the podium in the under 73 kilogram class the day after. She did the same competition two days in a row, one on the first day, made the podium on the second day. And after the Chaos Classic, she is returning to the British Isles once again to compete in the UK NS World Championships at the end of August. This has been a very busy 2024 for Camilla Fogagnolo. And if we look at the under 90 kilogram men, it is interesting to note that none of the athletes that made the podium last year are returning in 2024. Dan Benson, last year's winner, he's already said his focus is solely on retaining his European Championship and then progressing on to OSG Worlds, a competition he was forced to miss last year due to injury. So that is where his priorities lie this year. So that means we have a guaranteed new Chaos Classic champion in 2024 and a whole new podium. But we do have a number of athletes returning in 2024 that are hoping to improve on their performances. One such athlete was CJ Krause, who was so close to the podium in 2023, but a heartbreaking performance on the power stairs right at the end of the competition dropped him down to eighth place. I could tell after that competition, he was a little bit sore 
uh, both physically and mentally, but he seems to be coming in this year laser focused. It must be, it must be gut wrenching to know that you are good enough to make the podium. It was just a slip up on the power stairs that prevented that from happening. So you know, he has been working hard all year. I am struggling to remember if he has competed that much or if he's competed at all since the Chaos Classic last year. I may be wrong, but my hunch is that all of his effort has gone into this competition and he is determined to take the title this year. Likewise, we have Ben Donan returning. He placed fourth last year, two points off the podium. And let's remember last year, Ben was still sort of flirting with the idea of being an under 80 kilogram athlete. He had some issues with some weigh-ins at some competitions, but it seems he is laser focused on the under 90 kilogram class. So coming into this competition full and, you know, ready to compete at the under 90 kilogram body weight. We know he's a phenomenal deadlifter. We know he's brilliant overhead and he's no slouch moving either. So he is a former world's strongest man under 80 kilograms, definitely someone to look out for, but we all knew that already, didn't we? Also returning, hoping to improve on their performance from last year, we have the second and third placed athletes at the OSG World Championships in Tyler Davis and Derek Owens. Last year, Derek Owens was so close to setting a new under 90 kilogram log press world record and Tyler Davis, he is someone that is just so consistently good across all events and it usually winds him up on the podium. And closer to home, we have the likes of Harry Rogers, who put in an outstanding performance, especially on that deadlift last year. And we have the return of Mark Cummins, who is walking into this competition, England's strongest man. And he placed third at UK's strongest man, under 90 kilograms. And I've really been enjoying his friendly, is it friendly? Who knows? Rivalry with Tom Butts, who qualified for this competition and is a former UKNS world champion. So we have got a very strong lineup of athletes on both days, the 20th of July, the under 64s, the 21st of July, the under 90 kilogram men purchased the live stream from chaos.live, 15 pounds for both days. Both days, the live stream will start at 9.45 a.m. GMT. There's gonna be commentary, there's gonna be live scores, there's gonna be interviews. If you have watched any of the chaos live streams that have taken place throughout 2024. You know the quality started good and is only getting better. So you'd be foolish to not tune in. So should we try and talk predictions? Should we try and predict just three athletes out of this insane lineup, this insane collection of under 64 kilogram ladies and under 90 kilogram men? Shall we try? I'm gonna try. I'm going to say names, but I'm not certain on the order of any of the names that I say. I think for the under 64s, Camilla Fogagnolo has to be in with possibly the best shot at winning or being on the podium. Tony Varecchia, also an outstanding athlete. And Kate Connolly, home soil. I really hope she ends up on the podium. Uh, those are my three picks for the under 64 kilogram class. Camilla Fogagnolo, Tony Varecchia, again, I hope I'm saying that name correctly, and Kate Connolly. And for the under 90 kilogram men, how do you pick just three names from a lineup this strong? I'm going to try though, and after coming so close last year, I can only imagine the, the focus that CJ Krause is coming in to the Chaos Classic 2024 with, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna back him. I'm gonna back CJ Kraus to stand atop the podium this year, close behind. I'm gonna put Ben Donan. I did say I wasn't gonna put these names in any order, but here we are as for third place. I mean, we've not even mentioned the likes of Jim Mitchell, who was absolutely outstanding at the Chaos Classic last year. And he has been phenomenal in American competition over the past 12 months as well. Uh, we have Andrew Haynes that is traveling over. I cannot wait to see that man compete. He is, uh, he, he seems kind of like a silent assassin and watching him compete, just very deliberate, calculated 
Uh, yeah, I, I cannot wait to see him. But then we have Tyler Davis, we have Derek Owens. Who do you pick out of those four? And, you know, there are so many more besides. Uh, I am going to have to pick one because I have done for the under 64s. So I am going to predict Tyler Davis. I am going to say CJ Kraus to win, Ben Donan not far behind, and Tyler Davis. So there we go. I said I wasn't going to predict names in order. I've predicted names in order for both classes. Please leave predictions below. Tell me who I am an idiot to have overlooked because I know there are so many athletes that are going to be here that are going to put in tremendous performances that, that I probably have overlooked. And I can't wait to see the action on the 20th and 21st of July, chaos.live, 15 pounds for both streams, 9.45 a.m. GMT for both. It's going to be incredible. So be part of it. So that's going to do it for my preview of what will no doubt be an explosive weekend of strong woman and strong man action. If you've liked the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. And if you are interested in checking out this podcast that I've been doing for the past over three months now, it's called the KLC Strongcast. It's myself, Andrew Keys, Ash Lappage, three domestic strongman, athletes, promoters, just fans. The podcast is, uh, I've described it as strongman adjacent. We do talk about strongman, but man, it gets kind of daft sometimes. Uh, check it out. Uh, maybe for you, it may not be for you, but you know, check it out. And I will be back very soon, probably with a review of what happens in this incredible, incredible competition. I cannot wait. I will see you soon.